Hey Legion Nerds and welcome back. We're here with another Rome 2 Siege Battle for you today. And this one's a 2v2 with myself involved in it. It's an excellent, really close battle. Um, it is 100% worth watching till the end. It's got a great finish. Um, so yeah, we, I am playing as Kush. It's actually my first time playing as Kush. Um, obviously, known for being a very strong faction. But uh, I decided since we're attacking for once, I was like, well, I'll give Kush a try because they're very good on the offensive. And my ally is playing as Rome. So we have two very strong uh, attacking armies, but we're also up against two very good defensive armies in the Seleucids and Egypt. Can't quite see their armies currently, but uh, they uh, don't do too bad on the defense, so uh, looking forward to see what they have planned. So, my first wave is obviously armored Shota Warriors. Uh, on the towers we have Shota Warriors coming through on a Tortoise, and I've got some artillery, I've got some Kushai archers, and I've got some Kushite Pikes and some more Armour Shota Warriors ready and I've got some Cav just in case he sallied um, I decided I thought I'd bring some also once Cav gets inside you can usually get it to like get around uh, choke points and stuff like that and surround some units it's quite useful to have inside the city sometimes I find but and Rome's bringing obviously Roman Blister and he's bringing a lot of Praetorian Guard uh, yeah, a lot of Praetorian Guard. I think he, like the funds allowed him to bring a lot of Praetorian Guard. Um, and he's got Armored Legionnaires as well. He's got some cavalry of his own. And he's got, obviously, the Syrian and Balearic Archers. So, as the towers come onto the walls, we can see that Egypt's first unit is some Glacian Swordsmen. So, I would say this isn't a really strong unit, but it can probably do okay on this wall. We've also got what we've got here, Thorax Swords off the walls, ready. So here we go, so the first landing of troops, and it's some armor show to warriors, and they, they'll they probably mop up these Glacian, uh, Glacian boys quite quickly, but there's some Glacian Royal Guard down the bottom here, that are also there, and we've got a Hellenic Royal Pike, uh, Hellenic Royal Guard, sorry, but look at this whole area here, this is going to be really tough to get through. But here we go, so we can surround this Glacian Sword unit, look at these guys, these poor men, don't know what's wet, ready and waiting for them, and it's uh, a lot of armor show to warriors. By far one of the strongest uh, units in this game, but it's uh, not the strong. I don't know, it might be the strongest. Let me know guys down below, what, do you uh, think Kush is overpowered? Do you think its units are really, really strong? Uh, or do you think it's very beatable? Because I think they're quite beatable. I've beaten them several times, um, with obviously certain factions, but... So I don't think find them too overpowered, myself. But anyway, so it looks like Armature to Warriors can engage in some Glacian Royal Guard right now. And then what we've got happening here, so I landed another one here, uh, this tower, this is a bit under threat, is this, um, oh that was a really nearly, a really good hit there, but um, so I decided let's surround this uh, Glacian Royal Guard unit and then we can kill it off a lot quicker and lose a lot less uh, Kushite troops doing it. This unit unfortunately is having to just wait as well and be patient, but here we go, so we've got Glacian Swordsmen up on the wall, we've got more Galatian Swordsmen up on the wall fighting my uh, armor show warriors. This unit's kind of split in two, so it's kind of in a bit of an issue there. This unit's actually not even, well, actually, oh, Galatian Royal Guard are fighting here, okay. So yeah, it's a bit of a mess on the walls currently. I'm engaging a lot of troops on the wall. Egypt's actually not taking advantage of this and shooting my men. Like, he's got Cretan archers back here. He could definitely do a shoot in my uh, armor show to the warriors while they're on the wall. There's not masses of them though, that's the thing. I've done well not to blob them up too well. Oh, here you go. Just as I speak of the devil, here he goes. Uh, these mercenary creations, this is not a great angle for them. Like, you can tell from here, they're firing blind up there. They're better to fall back and they can get a nice direct line. I'm sure they're getting plenty of kills, but, like, they could get a lot more. Like, yeah, this unit here is actually winning decisively, I'm pretty sure. And then, yeah, archers are starting to... Uh, I think I was trying to get my archers to focus on pikes. What was I trying to do? Yeah, I was trying to get them to focus on pikes and I got them to get some thorax swords. But nothing major. On the walls here, still having a bit of a joy. Yeah, look at this. This unit is losing decisively because we surrounded it. Rome is uh, also off the walls. He is uh, ready and waiting. We've got some thorax swords. I presume I've just jabbed a load of Praetorians to death. I know these aren't even Praetorians. I'm a legionnaire to death. If I was Rome, I'd put a unit on the wall and just let them jabby down. Like, why get every single unit off? He's got a unit down now. He's protected this choke point. Um, just get another unit and start jabbing. But yeah, he's now going to come in and fight this. He's going to contest it. And Legionnaires are not quite set up. So, uh, that's, a con that's a concern. Is there anything coming in from over here? No, he's not going to flank around. I would have flanked around if I was him. He could have certainly got this unit unawares. Rome's a bit slow getting his unit up. 
But here we go. So Rome is now engaged. And there you go. Nice jabby throw. And what would that have hit? That might have hit some of those Glacian Royal Guard. But he's got a really tough job to get through here if he wants to try and break through here. Glacian Royal Guard, Thorax Swords. But if he can break through there, he can threaten Egypt's rear. So, I mean, we've also got a sneaky attack plan for over, like, over on this wall. So we're hoping that Seleucid is not paying attention. And he has to come over enough his troops. There's two tortoises and two towers. We can get four units up there. That's huge. Huge. Um, but yeah, so it looks like my archers here, I was deciding I'm just going to focus on pikes and other archers. But they're just getting absolutely beaten up. They're not great archers in fairness. I don't really mind them getting killed off. But it would just be nice to be able to use them against pikes. Because otherwise I'm going to have a really tough time in taking his pikes out. Which I am currently. I'm trying to... This is a Shoto Warrior unit. So it's the cheapest actually sword unit I brought against uh, Sir Helate Royal Guard Pikemen. Obviously, they're not having a, a good time against these pikes. Um, so I'm going to have to do something here in a moment. I clearly hadn't noticed that they'd engaged. Uh, I thought these uh, I thought I could get the Shotos to engage the uh, Thorax Swords. We could certainly we were chopping up the Thorax Swords. Uh, but I don't know if we'll do the same here. Good thing is that the general is a Quranian Axeman unit, so he's very weak and very easy to kill with a uh, archers if we want to do. And here we go. So we've beaten one unit of uh, Glacian swords, and it's now some armor show to warriors now fighting. Uh, well, they could actually surround these Glacian royal guard if they decided to. There's the 98 men that need to really engage somewhere. I can either suck more men up onto this wall, um, which I'm not opposed to, or I can just surround this one and help these guys up because they're not having a good time. 102 men here. Just stuck on this wall. Yeah, we're having a bit of a rough time currently uh, as Kush. Rome is also throwing forward a lot more men. He's made a hole in the wall so he can get his troops through quicker. He's got Praetorians in here now. Or I should say Praetorian Guard. They're just no mere Praetorians. They are Praetorian Guard. Same thing, really. I think one's just for Republican and one's for Imperial period. Even though Praetorians in the Republican period are actually just your le like your legatus um, and then like his unit his like other men that are in that legacy unit that would be his Praetorians they're just bodyguards for generals bit of history there for you they're like for instance this guy here these would all be his Praetorians in the Republican period but so anyway Kush is bringing up I'm bringing up more of my uh, archers I've not got all of them here focusing down I think I shoot yeah I was deciding I'm gonna shoot down the general leg it's a bit scummy, but at the same time, it's a very weak unit, and he's brought it so close to the walls. It's just asking for it to be shot. Um, like, yeah, obviously, general sniping, a bit of a no-no, but this time, I didn't really didn't really mind. He brought it so close. Um, this, though, is quite favourable, because uh, well, Hellenic, Royal Guard, Hellenic Royal Guard has now moved. So I can start focusing them down with archers. The uh, Shota Warriors still having a bit of a rough time on the flanks, but they're now to engage this... Thorax Swords unit head on, and this is favourable for them, I'd say. They're a bit beaten up, but so are the Thorax Swords. And, uh, well, I presume... Yeah, they're combat even. It, yeah, look, Thorax units is losing. To, uh, losing. So, he, that is not a good sign. Um, Glacier Royal Guard, though, up here, breaking. Um, this was a really good win for us. I mean, we didn't lose too many men. We lost, yeah, about 50-odd men. Maybe, yeah, maybe a little less than that. No, nah, it might be a bit more than that, sorry, actually. Um, but yeah, we lo we didn't lose too many men taking out this Glacian Royal Guard, which could rack up hundreds of kills. That has the potential to. And it's one out of the way. He's got another one up here, up here on the walls, which I'm sure I can take out. Um, I decided here that this was the time to put my final in reserve. Um, Siege Charles, I'm going to flank these Glacian Swords, support them here, and do what we can. Uh, my artillery is doing nothing currently. I thought it was going to start doing some stuff. But here we go. So I've got more... I'm going to show to Warriors in, and I'm we've massacred that Thorax Sword unit wherever it's gone. I think it's actually has routed. But at this point, I was just like, I'm going to stand here really close, and I'm just going to javy. I think, I don't know what I was doing here. I think maybe because the Thorax, no, the Thorax Sword is still here. Ever so slightly. I actually have outlasted those show to Warriors, surprisingly. But really... And look, they're bringing up their other pike unit. They're putting so much into this area. I mean, this pike unit is... It's lost 50 men, but it's not lost masses. So there, we've won on the wall, so that's three units of Shota warriors freed up. 
Um, Rome is still having a rough time. I'm just going to put it like that. Rome is not having a fun time. Look at all the dead Romans under those pikes. Silver Shield Pikeman. This is... I don't know what Rome's really doing here. He's uh, not really attacking down here. And he's not attacking the Seleucids. So he's just kind of dying where he stood. So this, yeah, this Chotel... Uh, not Chotel. This Armored Legionary unit is uh, not doing so well. Look at the Silver Shield Pikes so. though. Oh! Looking majestic as always. So we'll come back to Rome when he's made a bit more of an advantage. But um, as you can see here, Pike's still coming forward and he's pulling back his Pike. So I think I'm trying to give the attack order. But these goddamn Thorax keep coming in. But I've got plenty of reserves now. And the plan was... Okay, okay, so you see this. Sorry, I'm like waving the camera around a little bit because it's just going to be hectic. But this is about to... Ha so something's about to happen here. You can see this... Yeah, this artillery piece here. I'm manly firing this one exclusively... To fire directly through here and hit all of these uh, pikemen. And it's... I think I get it that one. If it was fire ammo, I'd be able to tell. But I was trying to keep it sneaky so he wouldn't see it happening. And uh, hopefully we get another one in a moment. But here we go. So I send in some armor shooters as well because he's not quite set up ready. But he managed to set up so easily. Just it's so frustrating. Like these pikes. My pikes never do this. They just turned on a T and just put their pikes down. So I was like, right, get these guys out of here. I probably lost a few men doing it. Um, but it's better than losing the entire unit. And it keeps them aware. But look at this. This pike unit here is not looking so great. I'm not quite sure why. I think it's just because of javies. I think I am just standing at bay, javying it at range. And I just don't care. I just will carry on doing it. And then I think I try again. Um, this time I don't fully commit, just making sure he's aware that I'm there. Oh no, I do commit. No, no, no. I, I do at last moment just realise, no, that's a silly move, Pope. Don't charge into pikes. Um, on the wall, uh, I can't even tell who's who's winning this. Uh, the, it doesn't say that there's anyone here on the wall, apparently. There you go, Glacian Royal Guard. Combat even. They're putting more Glacian Swords up onto the wall. I don't know if it's really worth it for them. Like, there's so many, <laughs> so many dead already on this wall. Oh, um, but yeah, so these Shotel Warriors are probably going to just mess these guys up. Surrounding Glacian Royal Guard now. And these Glacian Swords can't get up in time to actually make a difference. So at this point, yeah, I was just javying these Hellenic Royal Guard. He is slightly engaging me, but like hardly. And here, I think I'm... don't know, even know what's happening quite here. Ah, uh, I think it was the time of the Pikes. It is the time of the pikes. So I was trying to get my pikes up now. Right, so I was like, right, I can't get Shotel Warriors in here, so I'm going to try and get pikes in. But this is a huge thing. I drew back that unit, and now I'm going to try and send these guys in. And he has to send in his archers to save this, uh, save that pike unit. But I can then charge into the flank of this pike unit here. So I was like, right, that's a bigger win for me. This is a, a much bigger pike unit. And I think at this point, I've also commissioned Rome to start firing his auxiliary Syrians into... Uh, the pikes over here, because my archers are out of ammo, or they're all dead. Um, trying to do exactly the same thing, but Kushite pikes just can't do it. But these Syrians, they might have the chance. They're uh, not getting many kills, but they're chipping away. But yeah, we're going to get this. The pikes now have uh, fallen back, so I'm happy just killing these archers. And I'm going to fall back again. Oh my gosh, that was a good volley though. What was that? What was that? Oh, it might have been these Koranian Axemen. That's the general unit here, I think. Yeah. This is, oh no, it might, yeah, it is the general unit is here. And the normal unit is not the normal unit. Okay, look, I'm trying to get pikes in now. Um, so the plan was to get pikes and get them across. I think I was trying to get them over here. Um, but yeah, this is, this is a rough one. So I think in a moment we're going to see another big flank. See, the pikes uh, kind of get focused. Like these guys, just as soon as they got stopped, that was it. And they're getting just munched up. I just, I hated watching this. And they're now running into it. Oh. So many Kushite Pikes dying for no reason. I hate this choke point so much. And uh, here come the Shota Warriors though. They're going to sneak in behind. I'm going to get these guys. Look, these Hellenic Royal Guard. Let's see how many kills we've got. 183. And we're so early in this game. The other one's got 48. 183. Jeez. Um... Rome has decided he's uh, given up on attacking here. He's just going to fire all his ammo into killing these Silver Shield Pikes. Not a bad idea. 
If I was uh, also Rome at this point, I would possibly have brought some infantry up to here. Get your artillery and start just attacking, uh, firing down this street. Look at the amount of stuff that's on this street that you could kill. I don't know where his blisters is there, actually. Um, but he has also started the sneak attack. So the sneak attack has begun. Um, he's got cavalry inside. Um, he's Praetorian. Oh, no. You've got legionnaires fighting silver shield. But, I mean, Seleucid was well and truly ready for it. He saw it coming a mile off, um, which is fair enough. Let's see. Will the cavalry do anything? What's the cavalry even going to go for? It's got archers over here it could go for, I guess. Um, these uh, armored legionaries need to get off the wall. These guys also need to get off the wall. They can get off the wall, then that's great. There's got barricades down here, but these barricades won't do anything. Just knock them down. But these armored legionaries, they could beat most of these Sorak swords here. If they just get off the walls and capture the towers. But this could be a good charge from the cavalry here. Excellent. Actually, it wasn't. Eh, it wasn't excellent. The, the archers didn't stand their ground, so. And Thorax Swords are going to come around now and try and mop these guys up. So these Sokia Extraordinary are getting uh, going to be in a bit of trouble unless they can get out. Oh, uh, I think the other archer units, yeah, point, firing point blank. This is not good. That's certainly slowed the charge down. And there we go. They, they go in. And they're charging the next one. That's not a bad idea. You can see the Javis as the Thorax Swords. Oh, no, it's the archers again from the other unit that they just charged. Yeah, these are... His cavalry is done. His cavalry is done. But it has killed... A fair few archers, not enough though. He needed to break those archers, really. Really did need to. Um, Egypt has engaged over here, Glacian Royal Guard, on his own against Praetorians. Kind of a waste of a unit, if I say so myself. But, as you can see here, I didn't actually show it, but I have got through the goddamn choke point. Um, basically, all it required was drawing out those pikes again. And um, and just luring them in. I just lured them into uh, places that they didn't want to be. I think I got them all the way to up here. You can see the bodies. And I surrounded them. I just... It was luck. And now I've got pikes in here. This beaten up pike unit. 71. Um, I also was... My artillery was firing like pretty often into here. You can see like there's a lot of bodies down here. Oh my gosh. There's so many bodies. More Kashyyyk pikes inside. I've got this one ready and set up. Um, because I don't really want to go with the complications of having to get it in. And then we've got more armored shield warriors here. And generals. We're, we're looking good. Egypt's looking a bit rough, I won't lie. Um, we've got Glacian Royal Guard here fighting against my armored shield warriors. And over here, we've got the same scenario. But it looks like they're going to win the walls here, Egypt. Unless I can uh, do anything about that. I think I need to send up... Yeah, I'm setting up this final armored shield warrior unit. It's going to take, take the walls and beat that Egyptian army. But here we go. So, Karani and Axman having to hold the line. And the general, I don't know if he's in this unit. Ah, I think he is. He's pulling out just now. But the other Karani and Axman is uh, not so looking. Doesn't get the choice to pull out. I think we've got some Thor Spears in here. But there's pikes. There's uh, swords. But excellent. There's all sorts in here. And now uh, the defenders are down two pikes. They were two pikes. Had the two pike advantage. But they're now down to only two themselves. Um, I mean, in fairness, my pikes aren't great, so we don't really need to count them. So we need to really start surrounding stuff and routing it as quickly as possible. So really, a great road to go down would be this one, because it's got plenty of archers on it. Um, but also, yeah, look at this. This is huge. So, I mean, I charged into support here, and we're routing this Glacian Royal Guard unit. I don't know how many Glacian Royal Guard Egypt did bring, but he's running out of them. I think the last one might be... Oh, I was about to say the last one's on the wall, but... Yeah, it is actually still on the wall. He's brought about four or five, I think he's brought about five uh, units. It's pretty impressive. It is possible, um, but does he really want to do it? And over here, I don't know what Rome's doing. He's just got two units here that are now just getting shot at occasionally. And he's allowed, he's also allowed uh, the Seleucids to really set up a defense. Like, they don't need to worry about the, these two units now. Um, definitely a good idea to keep them in, uh, just test your formation for now. Just got to hope that the rest of your army can then punch through. So yeah, we're still having a bit of an issue here with these Silver Shield Pikes. Uh, we actually have got past this unit here and these Thorax Swords. It's whether the Pikes do anything at a moment. Yeah, we're just trying to ignore them and just go past. But uh, certainly a lot of Praetorians are getting trapped. And here you go, these Thorax Swords are about to break. And then it's just into Archers. And we're into the back of Egypt. But Egypt's already gone, really. Look at that. Egypt is in trouble. Balance power ever so slightly in our favor, I'd say. But they've still got plenty of troops. Seleucid's 
basically fresh. Saluted has got a fresh army. It's lost like two units, maybe a few more. Um, yeah, the Sorak Sword's now gone. Well, they apparently are gone. I mean, he's, the Rome's kind of pulled through there, I won't lie. Ro Egypt is kind of still there. Oh, well, not Egypt. Saluted is still there. Um, he's now focusing on my pikes. Not a bad target. I only need to get them out of there. Rome needs to just carry on and chase these guys down. And he is chasing down the, the pikes. He definitely could have just done a column formation and he could have got around these pikes. That would have been a lot smarter. Um, and he also just that means you carry on with a catching up. Like they now got shield bearers coming up. They actually got a lot of stuff committed of the uh, Seleucids to carrying on the fight. The cavalry for me is now coming in. You can see mobilized. Uh, I've got my artillery inside. And that is it. That's that's all of my army here. Going to be about to be inside the walls. And I've caught the uh, Egyptian general who's not in a good shape. What's he got here? He's got more Crownian axemen. Uh, I don't think there's at any point is there any threat of... Uh, oh, God. I'm looking the wrong way here. I didn't even realize this. So this, uh, yeah, show to worry what units is going to get killed for no reason. Um, luckily, it's actually shield wall the other way. Oh, that's annoying. That is frustrating. I didn't even see that. So I'm getting another armor show to worry to get up and help. Got uh, the Egyptian channel. I don't know what he's doing quite. Uh, but this, yeah, this unit here is probably racking up kills. Look at that. I didn't even realize, and just this unit is losing so many men for no reason. So, but it should kill that Ukrainian Axeman unit pretty soon. We've got cavalry coming in, swooping in, and the general may be in trouble here. Let's let's run with him. Quick, men, run for the defenses! But no, I mean, look at this. You've got armored desert cav. They're gonna catch these guys. Not quite sure how they're still like doing okay, but there you go. So that's uh, one unit. My general's also now coming in. He's going to try and get in there. We're now throwing javies for uh, the Crown Axeman doing it. It's now our turn to throw some javies. And here comes a good charge from the general. This will be nasty. Oh, yeah. Luckily, they turned at the right time to the Crown Axeman, so we didn't get like a full on hit. But I mean, it doesn't really matter. These cavalry should route the uh, Crown Axeman. Yep, just like that. And there you go. The general's gone as well. Apparently, they're being attacked in the rear. Not quite sure how, but there you go. So we're going to probably chase him down, make sure he uh, actually fully breaks and actually fully dies. And then that's probably it. Yeah, I think Egypt is gone. I think he might have a couple of... Well, he's got a unit on the wall. I think he's got a few further back over there. But I'm not quite sure. He's brought Kushite Royal Guard. Yeah, well, well not Kushite. I have the Kushite Royal Guard. Um, no, that's what I should have said is, um, is Crowning Axeman gone. But yeah, so now I'm getting the cavalry and I'm going to try and aggressively push here and try and catch some of these units like this shield bearer unit here running away this is a bad decision by the uh Seleucid. he just needs to hold somewhere and let it and let it try and get more kills like here for instance he's done the right decision and these uh praetorians should just yeah he thinks the praetorians are going to flank around but they don't they go off over here and i can just then start chasing down the shield bearers again but they're in all out retreat are the defenders which is a uh, well, it's good for us. I mean, but yeah, look at this unit. It's like down to 83. And it was like, it was like 130 on this corner here. It's like we've whittled it down. It's getting even further. 69, 64, 63. Yeah, it's getting absolutely like destroyed. And he then decided to stand his ground and he's going to use lose the unit. And I was going to surround him anyway and kill it. So that's another unit that we've got off the map. Because look at this. They're making a final... This is where the final cap point is here. It's a really weird spot. Um, but they've got so many men left. I mean, we have also got quite a lot of Romans left. But, they've got very little to defend. And, Rome's capturing this tower for some reason. I don't know why, or this gate. I don't know really why. There's no real need. Um, okay, Egypt, yeah, is over here. Egypt's got, now taking over control here. And he's got his Glacian Royal Guard. Coming to support here. Um, I don't know what Rome's doing exactly. If I was Rome, I'd attack these two units. Because now Seleucid's left him on his own. I think Galatian Royal Guard could definitely uh, be beaten by Armoured Legionaries. Certainly now that they've lost their general as well. But I think this is like where the battle starts to slow down a bit. So I'm going to make a cut. And uh, I'll meet you guys back on the battlefield when it starts to hot up again. So see you guys in a moment. So we are back. And it wasn't that long actually. Um, it was literally like a matter of seconds. And the Romans are engaging. I, th I didn't know about this battle to be honest. I thought these Romans were dead already. Um, obviously I was kind of microing on the far side. So the Romans here are fighting the Glacian Royal Guard here. They're also going to fight them over here. 
Um, I think there's some Cretan archers in the rear somewhere that are, uh, well, an issue. Oh, yeah, so we've got some... Oh, Nubian Bowman. Ah. That's a good tar That's a good target as well. Shooting to the back of these armored legionaries. Losing decisively. Um, Glacian Royal Guard losing... Uh, winning, sorry, decisively. And they actually, the other one is winning decisively. So it looks like legion armored legionaries can't take on Glacian Royal Guard. Uh, I wouldn't have pulled out if I was Rome. You just... Well, I guess you could, but you're going to still lose a lot of men just in the, like, falling back. Oh! And here they go. They're going to charge back in. And the Romans, yeah, this unit's gone. Kind of was a silly decision to fall back. You just had to endure the arrows. Just let the arrows be used up on uh, his unit. These units were already dead. They were dead a long time ago. They just... The defenders were waiting their time to attack. So, uh, yeah, this one over here is doing a little bit better. Mainly because it's not been shot at, but it's about to get surrounded by uh, the other one when uh, when their comrades get killed off. Bowling out in the trees, eh? Palm trees, Romans, and Gauls that shouldn't be in Egypt. What's, what's a great combo? There you go. Oh, gosh. They're still firing arrows in here. I wouldn't even bother. you got this battle, like, wrapped up. I'd t hold your fire and start getting ready because I think... Yep. Okay, it wasn't very long at all. And here you go. The armored Shota Warriors about to attack Silver Shield. Uh, swords, which are slightly upgraded. Over here, what are they fighting? Shield Bearers. This unit's a bit beaten up. I mean, there's quite a lot of beaten up units here. Um, the Romans should have really... Okay, now there's a really big gap. You need to get through here. So Rome needs to really rush and get a move on. But look at this. See, this is what the Nubians could be used for. Getting into the firing to the back of this. This would be nasty. But if you can get a unit through this gap here, that is, like, if Rome... I think it's Rome's real duty to do it because he's got the most troops left and he's also on this flank. I've now decided to take this flank. Oh, my gosh. I tried to get my cavalry by and look at that. They got kind of trapped there and they just got jabby to pieces. Um, so that's a bit of a shame. But there you go. So we're forcing back the Seleucids. They could have held at this choke point, but because obviously we can... We should have engaged them first, um, and then I could have surrounded with the Cav, and we could have got them. But oh well. So that was a bit of a mistake. Rome was a bit slow there, but it doesn't really matter. We move on. We, we carry on. Pikes now coming up. Silver Shield Pikes. Along with Archer shooting in the back. These two units here are having a really rough day. Yeah, Praetorians. This is, wor this is a big worry. Um... But, we have artillery about to be ready. Artillery is nearly ready. But what we've got here as well, we've got Baleric Slingers actually. Getting a not a bad angle into the side of these guys. Um, yeah, but our first initial units are losing in that fight. And that is really rough. So, my plan with the cavalry now, I'm getting focused down. But my plan with the cavalry is to sneak past here. Um, sneak past here and get through this gap. And then get up here towards these pikes. Oh, pikes, archers. Because there's plenty of archers here. Plenty of ammo left, I believe. Um, Rome's not really done a good job in clearing them off. But pathfinding is an absolute... Absolute... Uh, well, it's buggered me. We'll put it like that. It's buggered me. And this unit basically doesn't want to go through there. You can hear them. I'm literally... You can hear the men just like constantly shouting because I'm telling them to... Giving them the order. And in the end, they just... They get stuck and they break and they just... Yeah. Yeah, it's not worth talking about. Um, but as you can hear there... The artillery is starting to fire. You can see where it's already done its damage. Got more infantry appearing. Got more Galatian Royal... Well, these are the Galatian Royal Guard that have been freed up, I guess. And that wasn't a bad hit. Oh, that was not a bad hit at all. Those are the... Uh, we're firing at the general, it would seem. Not a bad target, but... Probably better taking out those archers, because... Well, there's a lot of them. There's a... L look at this blob. Um, that was not a bad hit. That one... Yeah, this general's actually been pretty beaten up. 123. But this is extremely close. Extremely close. And there you go. Fire arrows now coming in. Trying to hit the African Ballista. We've now got... Uh, what have we got here? We've got Auxiliary Syrian Archers. We've got my artillery now also firing down here. We're going to just take out all these archers. Look at this. It's such a big blob. If he spread them out, he might have a better chance of uh, survival. But as you can see, not many troops left for Roman and Kush. But... 
We are doing our best. And Rome is now making a, a push over here. He needs to... Uh, if I was Rome, I would send a unit up to here. And then a unit to engage here. And he'd be fine. I don't think this Glacian Royal Guard can flank round. If he can flank round, I'll be very upset. Because my artillery... Er, uh, not my artillery. My cavalry should be able to do the same. Rome's artillery is also firing, but it's firing from a stupid angle. It needs to get a lot closer. It's firing like all the way over here, just missing, wasting its ammo. At this point, we've got to get close and use our artillery heart really easily. Oh, that was not a bad hit. Look at all the Syrians that are dying, though. Getting absolutely messed up. But they are winning on this choke point here. A fresh unit of Praetorians has gone in. Probably wasn't the best idea. Probably should have sat back a little bit, but... We need to just keep up the pressure. I am, however, probably chipping away quite nicely at the Syrian, Syrian at the shield bearer unit. Um, it's still winning, but it's more that I'm doing the effort. Oh, and yeah, oh, that's yeah, not a bad target. I don't know if that's Rome or if that's uh, my ballista, but this is a really good target. If you can fire into the back of this with artillery, that was oh, that was a bad hit. I hate a lot of Praetorians, but um, it is doing the damage. They are damaging a lot of these guys, but yeah. So hopefully another hit comes in. That one's a little bit short, and that one was hit your own men. But they're getting a lot, and then all the arrows coming in. Jeez, it's just absolute devastation here. I think it's Rome. Rome's artillery is just awful. It's, whoever's firing it is absolutely drunk, and that one hit. All the way through my men. Actually, it didn't. It managed to just miss everything but my men. And at this point, I'm pretty sure... What is going on? Oh, yeah. Rome here makes a fatal mistake. So you can see... Like, this unit went up to go and capture the tower. And uh, it didn't. It did not capture the tower. We'll put it like that. Uh, so it's been pinned between the tower. And it's got Nubian bows over here. These Nubian bows are insane. So these Nubian bows are now focusing down the Praetorian guard in the rear. While the Glacian Royal Guard en engage from the front. They are actually losing the Glacian Royal Guard. Um, but over here, for instance, these Praetorian Guard buying off these shield bearers. Um, yeah, I'd definitely pull this Praetorian Guard back. Definitely hold this choke point instead. Because he's just lost a Praetorian for nothing. It's a real waste there by Rome. But um, we are actually slowly pushing through here. We're winning slightly here. These uh, Silver sh Shield Swordsmen are doing a nice job of dying, basically. <laughs> There's not much else to it. They're just dying. Praetorian Guard, up at this end. Look at this, though. We have focused down this. I think we think Rome pulled out. Oh, no, that's definitely not pulled out. But this is a big problem. They just This Silver Shield Swordsman unit, I think, was given the order to attack. And it carried on its attack, and it's just now out in the open. So that's dead. Um, but, yeah, I mean, they're very much down to very little left. They've got archers, a very small unit of swords. Uh, they've got plenty of swords back here, actually. They've got Thoric swords all the way back here. If they can get them up, that's great. It's really close. Balance power, I'd say, is now back to even. I'd ever say, I'd say Rome's thrown away a couple of units he really shouldn't have. Like, Praetorians are really helpful at this point. I mean, so are my armored Chotals, but they were already pretty dead after the first assault. But here we go. So I'm throwing everything into this first attack here. I'm setting pikes up, I think, as well. No, no pikes. Not quite yet. Oh, no. Here they come. I think I make the mistake of not putting my pikes up. So the only mistake I make is I don't get the pikes up and they kind of just are just fighting in combat. But I can get a gap through here. There's a perfectly big gap through here and I get my uh, armor chosels in. And they are now well and truly inside fighting within the lines. Fire on the enemy, and as I agree, yes. So, um, yeah, I'm firing my artillery and this is such a good hit. Such a great angle. It got like so many kills. I think that was my last shot, and he got so many kills. Well, not so many, but it like went through one unit, then into the next. And here we go, Praetorians now coming up. If these Praetorians can get in behind, then they can do a really good job here. Oh, yeah. The thing is, they've left Thorax Swords left. They charged in with like their Glacier no uh, Royal Guard, their Hellenic Royal Guard, so early on. Um, like they've just they're left now with Thorax Swords, so like their mid tier stuff just can't hold up to all. Our elite tier, but I mean, we mostly brought elite tier. But mainly because Kush and Rome can afford to if you have the right amount of funds. It doesn't need to be masses of funds. Just I think we use 20,000 as a budget. And that's all you need. But yeah, so we are slowly pushing through. Slowly, but surely pushing through. 
But yeah, these Praetorians and what are they finding up against? They just find archers, and I mean, this Sorok Sword unit's very much out in the in the sticks. It doesn't know what it's doing. But yeah, it's, they're now down to two units, Glacian Royal Guard, and well, they've got actually two units, Glacian Royal Guard, and a general, and that's it. Um, these shield bearers, I'm surprised they're actually holding so well against these Praetorians. Um, spears usually beat swords, especially when the the swords are Praetorians. Um, but at this point, I finally actually give the order for my pikes to go down. Go down, excuse me. <laughs> and they're only at 88 men. I don't know what happened to them. Um, my pikes are, I will say, not really worth bringing today. Didn't didn't do me uh, too proud, but they're done okay. My Shota Warriors have done excellent, as has my artillery and my archers did okay. Pikes, they just weren't worth it. But yeah, look at this. Absolute mess of front line. There's Romans just like dotted all the way through this front line. Oh, jeez. That was loud in my ears, but I think that hit here. Oh my gosh. Um, so they're actually doing a lot more damage to our men than they are to uh, the saluted. I was like, just stop firing. Don't fire there. Fire at the general at the back. Make sure you actually hit the general at the back, not at like our men. Because they just like fire through here. This. Show to warrior unit was pretty good, and now it's like 112. It's not bad yet, but I was like, it only needs a couple more bad hits, and this changes the battle very easily. But yeah, they're now wavering here, these Sorak swords. Yeah, I was just like, stop firing. It's not a good target. Like, it was a really good angle to fire when there's no one here for us, but now there's men here. But here we go, a huge chain route. That's a good hit. That's what you needed. Chain route now happening on uh, the Seleucids. There we go. Rome is basically through. He's got to put in his uh, shield bearers to hold. And now I've got. Uh, Arch is firing fire ammo to try and rout us, but our generals haven't died, so they won't rout. Um, my general's not coming up. I think I was getting him ready to, I don't know, attack over here, but I don't know. These armature warrior unit here is winning, and they're outnumbered. That's how beefy these guys are. They are doing well. But here we go. Rome is uh, basically cleaning up what I started. This is his army to take out anyway, uh, Seleucids. <laughs> he should have taken them out a long time ago. They got far too many men back to this final defense. Shouldn't have been allowed. Should not have been allowed. But uh, over here, he's having a bit of a rough time. But he can, if he's smart enough, get a column formation. He can get around. Um, needs to do that. But I think the uh, Glacian Royal Guard, they are being pulled back exactly for that reason. Uh, they are... Exactly just worried about that Praetorian unit getting through and yeah, it's gonna try again, but it, it's it's really not <laughs> It's I mean, it's sort of got through but it's sort of how it got stuck. It's got stuck. Oh gosh. Yeah, that's That that unit kind of bugged out It didn't really pull through because the right bit of the unit did just walk on by but the rest got stuck But yes, yeah, so these Galatian uh, Royal Guard, they're probably not gonna be able to stand against the fresh unit Praetorians and the shield bearers are being flanked now by the fresh unit Praetorians, so they should break in time yeah, unit losing decisively, and this one's losing decisively as well. So this is leaving the rear very much open. Uh, so, yeah, they're in trouble. But, I mean, as you can see here, I'm not saying with my pikes. I'm going to just try and hold back these Glacian Royal Guard with pikes. While they mop up the general here, which is just all that's left. I was like, just hold these guys back. Hold them back. Pikes, hold them back. Oh. Pokey pokey. Stabby stabby. There's quite a few of them left. I mean, they're medium pikes. <laughs> this guy's just not as good as, like, half the other pike units in this game. A medium pike unit's just, yeah. I think even, like, basic pikemen are heavy. So these guys... I mean, these guys don't even have shoes on. That's that's how bad they are, I guess. They can't even afford shoes. Um, but over here, yeah, these shield bearers are in a bit of trouble. I mean, they still actually got some silver swords in here. But I think... Um, I think I've already mentioned it in a previous video, um, but yeah, silver shorts, silver swords, um, not worth bringing. Better bring in royal peltasts. They've basically got all the same stats and a bit cheaper, the peltasts. And they have more javies, as the, that's the key thing, they have more javies. And there we go, it looks like uh, Galatia's going to fall, well, not Galatia, but Egypt's falling his men back. I'm bringing the cab through, that's not a bad charge, uh, could have been better. And uh, this is probably going to be it. This is uh, looking at balance power now. I think the attackers have just about wrapped it up. But 
I don't know. I mean, there's still a newbie and Bowman units hiding somewhere. And I'm not sure if that's like all their units gone. But yeah, that's a huge chain right now going on. Well, it's not huge. It's three units, Pope. If that's huge, then I'm, I'm a bit worried. But uh, yeah, there you go. They're all gone. So I'm just going to fast forward now for the sake of the video. Don't need to just see these guys just walking around looking for the... F I think we just walked around looking for the final unit. So I sent my uh, my general in in a moment. We're going to send him in. And there you go. Yeah, it's a wavering a wavering Nubian Bowman unit. Uh, it's just done a good job. I think if it just gets close, we'll probably break it. We don't even need to... Uh... So yeah, it's on the wall here. I don't even know if it's got ammo. It doesn't even have ammo, I don't think. They've got their swords out. Um, but yeah, my ar the arch tower is just there doing its thing. I'm just going to go and cap the main point, I think. Well, not the main point, but the other point. The main capture point's here, so the timer is actually already happening. But there you go, a costly victory. So, um, first time playing as Kush, I didn't do too bad. Uh, 3,390 kills, far more than any of the other players. Um, I had a unit of armature warriors that got 424 kills. Another one got 365 a lot of them got over 100 kills, a lot got over 200 kills. My pikes actually did do okay, 111, 140. Not bad for medium. My Shota Warriors here got 67, that's not great. My artillery getting 300 kills. Uh, my archers, yeah, they didn't do great. Um, that's the only thing, like, if you could bring more, if you had more money as Kush, you'd bring better archers, because their next unit up is really, really strong. And then the cavalry here, like, didn't do so well, they got Javi down. My general did okay, 112. Um, so yeah, I'd just like to thank everyone that took part in this battle. Um, you all play very well, like Spyro and I. Uh, I Animal loves. Uh, I know he uh, is a fan of the channel. I know that he mentioned that he really enjoys the content, and I hope he enjoyed this one. Uh, he did very well. Um, I'll quickly go through his army quickly. He was playing the Seleucids. Um, 117 kills for his Syrian arch. His best one. He got a. Uh, 139, oh no, 153 with that silver shield pikeman unit. Not too bad there. Um, shield bearers, 138. His uh, silver, sh silver shield swordsman. Why do I have tr trouble saying that? I think it's because it's just three S's after each other. But anyway, they got 203 kills. Uh, the thorax swords actually did not that great. That's quite surprising. They do usually do okay. But this is the example that I was saying. Like, thorax swords can do really well. They can do really bad. And they just didn't do well today. For, uh, I, I animal loves. Um, so yeah, he did pretty well. And then uh, Spyro, who was playing as Egypt, get 148 with his mercenary Cretans. Or oh, 211, actually, that's even better. His Newman bows, they're not a great unit, but 164, that's excellent for them. Um, his Sorax also didn't do so great, only bring, getting 49 kills. I would have just not brought these Galatian swordsmen and Karani axemen and brought better uh, infantry like... Um, like Thorax. He brought a lot of Galatian Royal Guard, and that was a big risk, and it didn't really pay off. I mean, the best one got 180 kills. Um, I surrounded a lot of them on the walls, and, and just generally everywhere else, and they just died. This is Pikes, so I got 205, the best unit, I think, of a melee, and then 63 with the other, which isn't so great, and then Thoros is only getting 49 kills. Then Aiden, who was playing as Rome, uh, his Torians, I think his best was 219, and his Armored Legionnaires did awful for the amount that they cost. They, they can usually get a similar sort of score as the Praetorian Guard, but they only got 86. His artillery getting 68. His archers 109 is best. And his cav only... Oh, it's actually his Bale X thing's got 169. That's not bad. And his cav only getting 28 kills. So not a great game for Rome. Um, shows that Rome is not overpowered. It, do you think Kush is overpowered? Let me know in the comments down below. Or do you think it's very beatable? Um, let me know. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment. Uh, well, tell me if you think Kush is overpowered, if you, who you beat in Kush with, or just to show your support. And until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you guys.